Andy Warren and Stuart Watson here at Portman Road, where Ipswich Town have been beaten for the first time in the league this season. 1-0 home loss to Lincoln. Um, ben House with the goal. Um, frustration filled the air here at Portman Road this afternoon, Stu. Um, funny old game. I think I'll file this under one of those days and move on. Um, Kieran McKenna said that, let's break this down into a few parts. Kieran McKenna, his ultimate reflection was the one bit of the game that probably cost it, which was their start today. They didn't really burst out the blocks. Great occasion again, pack out Portman Road, game number two, 27,000 plus inside Portman Road. Pablo Cunago back at back in Suffolk for the first time in a while, getting a few chance. Great display from, from the Blue Action boys in the North Stand before the game. And Ipswich didn't sort of match that with their with their tempo, their intensity in the first twenty odd minutes. Cambridge, it was clear, had come here to to sit deep and play on the counter attack. And uh, those first sort of twenty minutes also drifted. There wasn't uh, a single shot, corner, mm. foul, anything really in those first twenty minutes. And um, and then Cambridge took the lead. Uh, Lincoln took the lead. Uh, Why do I keep saying been, Cambridge? You've been doing this all afternoon. Sorry, Lincoln. Uh, it was Lincoln. Um, it felt like the Cambridge game, didn't yeah. it? I think that's why, because yeah. it was Cambridge Mark II. Lincoln, sorry. Yeah, it's a bit of a freak one, isn't it, from a set piece. that Ipswich working very, very hard on their defensive set pieces, so to concede two in two games is, is really frustrating for them. Um, but this is probably, again, filed in the freak the freak box is what well. I think it was Regan Paul headed one right up in the air, 20 yards up in the air. Um, a second ball, George Edmondson has tried to challenge for it, hasn't really got there well enough, and the ball's kind of squirmed from there across to the back post where Ben House has got a couple of yards on, away from Janoy Danassian to nod in. And, and when a, t a team has come here to kind of sit a bit deep, what you don't want to do is give them a one goal, a one goal lead, particularly when you've not started particularly well yourself. And, and that just made that task so much more difficult for Ipswich and encouraged Lincoln to, to, they felt like they were just dropping back and back as to every 10 minutes that passed, another yard dropped back and back and back. Um, it meant that Ipswich had so much of the ball and their starting position was very, very high up the pitch, but um, there's then an hour of trying to break them down and this time, yeah. no way through. And that's part three of, of, of today's kind of summary, Ipswich. It, uh, had all of the ball, 75% possession, I think 76% mm. possession. They finished on 32 shots, only five of which were on target in the end. But you, Lincoln sat so deep, it was it was essentially a 5-4-1. Um, but all credit to them, They once they got that goal, it just strengthened their resolve to really dig in and enjoy the art of defending and bodies on the line. Mm. And um, I just, I looked and I thought there's a long, long way to go yet and a bit like Cambridge um, from it. the previous week. I, I thought that there was no way they'd be able to soak it up for that period of time, that that relentless pressure would eventually tell. But today it didn't. And um, that was a kind of a mixture of resolute defending and some, some wayward finishing at times as well. Connor Chaplin towards the end of the first half would be the man you'd want in that position. Good pullback from Leif Davis. Scuffed his shot, didn't make a good connection inside the box. Marcus Harness probably with the best chance of the, of the second half. Uh, lent back, lifted one over the bar from, from a similar position. Um, just one of those days where, you know, a mixture of bad finishing, ball not quite falling in the box, some really good body on the line defending, and and it finishes 1-0. Yeah, cre cred credit to Lincoln. I, think there was, yep. I don't know how many there were, but there was block after block in there. It, five, only five on target for Ipswich, but I... I I bet another double figures worth of that was, was blocked before it even had a, a sight of goal. Town had some some decent efforts from the edge of the box. Morsi just wide with one. Evans had one saved in the first half. Um, Leif Davis had one fizzed over the top of the bar with a bit of a deflection. Um, lots of chances from range, not so many from inside the box, not so many for the central strikers. And uh, it's, it's, I think we've become used to coming away from Portman Road feeling like the sky's caving in after a loss, but I, I don't think that has to be the feeling today. I, I, I think we've all we all know there's some substance behind this team. Um, they just need to they just need to get back on the horse and get back at this one, like they did after the, the Plymouth loss. Yeah. I, weirdly, I feel okay about this because this feels like an anomaly. This just feels like the perfect storm where everything just didn't quite go right, and you just have to suck it up and move on quite quickly. This doesn't feel like oh they've been kind of fluking their way to a few results and this really shows the true colours. This feels like the anomaly to me today and 
we were all talking about could they go unbeaten at home and just these little reality checks along the way might not be the worst thing in the world keep this team grounded and humble and, and same for supporters and, and pundits and us and everyone alike um, there was always going to be a few bumps along the way lost at Plymouth after putting some good results together bounced back pretty quickly started again and now they've just got to dust themselves and go again because um, well, after a Papa John's trophy game at Cambridge on Tuesday night, which sounds like it's going to be a, a, quite a young side in there, just a point will do to get them through. The big game is Derby County here in front of those Sky TV cameras on, on Friday night. Yep, looking forward to that one a lot. Um, a slight change of pace in midweek at Cambridge, isn't it, as you've just said? A bit of a change of pace, a bit of time out from, from the league groups, which there for some different players. And then under the lights of Portman Road, per perfect opportunity to get back on the horse or, or the ram.